What's up, my friend? Welcome back to the next Kajabi video in this Kajabi for Beginners mini series. So in this one, I want to quickly touch on the best practices I would recommend once someone has opted into your email list. And that means we have to go into the form level, right? Because in the previous one, we just talked about how building landing pages as opt-in pages is optimal if you want to collect email addresses and build your email list, right? So now let's make sure we give them exactly what they're asking for and we open the door to future conversation. Now, mine is gonna look a little bit different compared to what I suggest because I've already been doing this for quite a while, but this will apply perfectly if you're just starting out and you don't have anything to sell just yet. Just to quickly show you again quickly, um, this is what you should have for your forms. So have an internal title of what it's called. Opt-in sending is very important. So I always recommend single opt-in because it just helps um, them get into your emails quicker and there's less friction. They don't have to click more buttons and stuff. But if you wanted to double opt-in, you certainly can do that as well. Um, and then yeah, the form fields, I would recommend just collecting the first name and email address because you can also always personalize your emails that you send out with their first name. And that's always really cool. But if you just want their email address, you can you can delete that field as well. Now the automations is where it gets really important. So the first thing you wanna do is automatically send them an email right after they opt into the form. So Kajabi uses a when, then, and if system for conditions, uh, but basically it's really simple, right? When this form is submitted, which is called the ideal composing workflow, that's what we called it in this area, then what action do we wanna take? We can grant them some an offer, give them a product, uh, subscribe to an email sequence, which I do for all my forms, register to an event, add a tag, remove a tag, send an email, send a coupon, certificate. In this case, we are sending an email automatically. And what does this email do? It basically gives them what they're asking for, which is that lead magnet, that free PDF, that video workshop, whatever. So here I customize the email to say, hey, thanks so much for downloading the guide. Just click right here to access it right away. And here you can embed that guide within um, the text by uploading it straight from your computer, which is really, really cool. And I believe they use Amazon servers to host all of this uh, stuff. And then if you're just starting out, you don't have anything to sell yet. One thing you can do is add a PS to say, how can I help you right now? This question is really important. You can always bold it as well, but basically it opens the door to future conversations. So if you're trying to figure out what new content should I create, what courses should I build to help my audience, a percentage of people who receive this email, which is everyone who opts in for your email list, will message you back, email you back and tell you what they're struggling with. And that's a beautiful thing, right? Because you have that direct feedback loop. So you're hearing the words from their own mouth for what they need help with. And that will give you great ideas for what you can do to help them even further. So I did this at the beginning. And then as I got more responses and a better idea of what I could build for them, I started to build those products. I sold those products. And now I have automation set up to actually email or basically subscribe them to these email sequences automatically, which are email funnels that give them over delivers, but then pitch my paid products in the future. So make sure you ask them that question if you're just starting out. How can I help you right now? Or what are you struggling with that I can help you with in my free content right now? Open up that door for conversation. A percentage of people will reply. And that's how you can get um, feedback that's literally right from their mouth and apply it to your future content and into your paid products in the future. So yeah, make sure you send them that email. Really, really important. Um, and the best part is it's completely automated. You literally write it once, send it out, and that's it. And then yeah, make sure you, these other settings are settled in as well, whatever you decide, okay? So that's it, That that is uh, at the form level. It's actually quite simple, but I wanted to go over it just to be sure um, you know, everything is, is covered more or less in depth here. So yeah, if you want to try out Kajabi for yourself, feel free to use my link down below, christophertu.com slash Kajabi, which will give you double the free trial that they offer on their website. And I'll also give you two bonus mini courses, absolutely free Kajabi in 30 days and content marketing for creatives as a thank you. So really appreciate you watching. I'll catch you in tomorrow's video and I'll see you soon.